In a shock development today, Kathleen Folbig wants her children's ashes back and her diaries. Yesterday, she was pardoned over the deaths of her four kids. Today, a makeover and a very public statement. Hello, uh, this is Kathleen. I'm extremely humbled and extremely grateful for being pardoned and released from prison. Today is a victory for science and especially truth. And for the last 20 years I have been in prison, I have forever and will always think of my children, grieve for my children and I miss them and love them terribly. Thank you. Well, Hannah Sinclair was just with Kathleen's support team in northern New South Wales. Hannah, what did you make of that statement? Well, Ali, after spending 20 years behind bars, Kathleen clearly wanted to finally speak for herself and thank those people who have supported her throughout this ordeal. Her first public statement was quite highly produced. Kathleen even had her hair and makeup done, luxury she went without for all those years in jail. Kathleen's support team doesn't appear to be taking any chances when it comes to her safety and transition into the outside world. The the farm she's staying at has security guards at every gate to protect the former inmate. It's an interesting setup given she's longed for freedom for so long. It seems she still doesn't fully have it and is being kept within the bounds of the property in northern New South Wales for now. Now, Kathleen's legal team today confirms the next step is to get her convictions quashed in the Court of Criminal Appeal to clear her name once and for all. But they said it's far Far too early to talk about compensation. Legal experts, however, predict Kathleen could be looking at a multi-million dollar payout if she's exonerated. Other than that, Kathleen's supporters have told me while she's finally been granted her freedom, there are two other things she desperately wants back. Her children's ashes and her diaries. The fact she wants her diaries is fascinating, given she wrote about her guilt associated with their deaths. It was those dark thoughts that helped convict her in 2003. As for her baby's ashes, Ali, she currently doesn't know where they are. So it sounds like from what you're saying there, Hannah, that her journey is far from over. That's right. Thanks for that.